Can here. Welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. And we are in the Ascension Integration Cycle. And what that means is we get to integrate these new, yummy Ascension energies physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, energetically, dimensionally, in all ways. And certain ways are a little bit more challenging than others. So I notice for myself that sometimes when we're in this Ascension Integration phase, that if I'm having some trouble integrating the ascension, especially physically or energetically, uh, I tend to get numb arms. That's my symptom. Now, other people have different other uh, ascension-related symptoms, and it doesn't mean that if you're going through ascension and growth and evolution that you'll necessarily have symptoms at all. So I have to say that mine are pretty mild or have been <laughs> lately, so I'm really thankful for that. Um, now, some of you wonderful light warrior folks, you sense this, you know who you are, the empaths, earth angels, the indigos, the star seeds, the hybrids, the walk-ins, you know, all you guys. Um, some of you are actually helping the earth as well as the entire multiverse, some of you, to integrate the Ascension energies too. So if that's the case, then it's possible for you to be able to sense some disturbances of, ooh, you can call it detox, if you will, uh, related to Ascension integration in the rest of the multiverse or the rest of um, the Earth. So if that's the case, you might want to ask whether or not you really need to feel or be aware of these. Sometimes you can transmute the energies in a different way, or in other words, if it is your job to transmute these energies for such an integration for Mother Earth or the multiverse or our universe, then you can actually take a little quick detour in some ways and just say or ask uh, when you do your divine muscle testing, um, can this be done uh, faster, quicker, using some of the tools I have? If you get a yes, then all you may have to do is maybe send the frequency of, you know, for example, Ascension 2 uh, for my first package or one of the deep healings, 1, 2, 3, or 4, and then direct it to that target, whoever it is you're helping out, whether that be Mother Earth, the universe, or the multiverse, you know? And if you do that every day during this Ascension integration period, a lot of times your job's a lot easier. Do you know what I mean? So you can actually do divine muscle testing and test whether it is your job in this timeline to, or maybe even alternate timelines, to go ahead and transmute, transform energies on behalf of or with others from Mother Earth in um, the multiverse and universe. And if that's part of your job, then you can make it much, much easier by sending these tools to them as well as to yourself. So that's a little trade secret there. Um, so what else? Well, um, one of the quick ways of seeing how well you're doing in terms of health, body, mind, soul is kind of a four-point check or four-point test. Now, some of these you already know. For example, you already know the light score, the portion of light and dark in someone, the, um, the, the closeness of your light to source light, uh, the alignment with source light, so that's the light score, okay? Now, there's also a love score, the alignment of your love quotient uh, compared to source love, and the truth score, so your truth compared to the alignment of divine truth, and then the wholeness score, which I got one night as, as I was working on myself, I was just asking if there was a quicker way that we can just check in on how well we're doing um, overall, body, mind, soul. And I got that there's some sort of, something like a wholeness score. And that is kind of like how much of you is really you. <laughs> um, and that does, of course, include other timelines as well. So how much of you is really you and sovereign and and that your energies aren't kind of spread out all over. Um, so this is true of, of course, intelligent beings. There may not be a wholeness score, for example, but well, you know, maybe a crystal or something like that. So for, for beings, for those of us intelligent beings, there's a score for light, love, truth, and wholeness. So check yours. Check yours in this timeline. Check yours average in all timelines. And you can even check the lowest scores in all your timelines and just you know, if you know that the lowest score of all the timelines is getting higher and higher and higher, then you know everybody else in all your timelines is also getting better too. So that's a new tool for you to check your love, light, truth, and wholeness score. And you can do this for others as well. So if you're uh, in my Light Warrior Advanced Healing Program, you have the Divine Muscle Test and Elixir. If you're using that on a regular basis, um, that'll actually help you muscle test much more accurately and get you aligned with Source. 
So all F has all these areas, love, light, truth. Um, if they are all 100%, then they are 100% aligned with the divine. Uh, sometimes you'll meet programs where the light score is pretty high, but their truth score is eh, 90 or less, or, and then their love score is really low. So what does that mean? Well, it just means that it's not quite balanced in full alignment with the divine. So you can be like 90% truth, but it's not just about truth. It's about love, too. So, of course, there are other intuitive ways you can figure out if a program is for you. Uh, but that's a quickie way that you can do is check the love, light, and truth score of any program you're assessing or any healer you're wishing to go to. You want to just check in uh, what it is in this timeline. Sometimes very good healers in this timeline have issues going on in another timeline, so you may or may not want to check that, or maybe you will. You know, it's up to you. <laughs> Whatever's most important for you. Just know that it's actually, um, you know, unusual for for now that even some of the top healers, even the most famous ones of best-selling books, to have a truth, love, and light score, and wholeness score of 100%. Okay? I mean, I'm still working on mine, so, uh, and I'm aware of it, so a lot of people aren't aware of it. So just keep that in mind. Uh, now, uh, there's a new morphic field that has been created and uh, is now infused into uh, the Ascension Tools and the Deep Healing Tools and even the elixirs, and that is this. When your spiritual gift of clairsentience, your ability to feel with your body, the uh, thoughts, feelings, and feelings of other people, speaking in tick <coughs> reaches a super high power level, uh, okay, what can happen is you can sense other things in other timelines. Your sensitivity is really high. Now, that may or may not be ideal, so the new morphic field actually allows your spiritual gift of power to keep rising and to optimize, but uh, basically turns down your sensitivity for issues not related to this timeline or issues that you do not have to deal with. Does that make sense? So just know that I'll be continually updating all my programs, MP3s, my MP4s, as needed, as we learn more with the Ascensions, so you'll always have the most up-to-date copy <laughs> of them, because I uh, have them uh, energetically um, infused uh, from a distance, so you don't have to re-download anything, which is pretty cool. Okay, what else do I want to tell you this week? Um, let me look at my list here. Oh, yes, I was going to show you my Topican Healing Guides printed out in color, so kind of fun. So for those of you that have uh, my package B for my Light Warrior Man's Healing Program or package C, you have uh, instructions on how to use the Topican Healing and you have some guides. So here are the guides. Now they've been recently updated. Uh, so there's a few new things in here. So this is guide number one. Okay. So guide number one talks about the possible areas that have uh, negative energies that you can pull or change. Guide number two looks like this. So guide number two is positive frequencies and morphic fields that you can download to yourself. And then guide number three looks like this, deciphering messages from source. So deciphering messages from source. And like I said, there are some additions and shifts and changes and they will continue to change as we learn more. Some things will be less relevant and we'll take those out and those uh, that are more relevant will put them in. So we'll try to keep it to one page so it'll be easier for you to use. So you can get copies of this of course by being part of my Light Warrior Advanced Healing Program, uh, either package B or C. So the difference between the two is that uh, the level one Topican uh, healing uh, training is in both but the difference is that the, the package C has a one-on-one -on -one consult with me, a 25-minute consult. Okay, and just so you know what else I use in the office, there's my little prayer. So I do that uh, before each one-on-one -on -one session. Uh, we uh, open and close with a prayer that helps to do some clearing and uh, puts us in a nice little bubble. And here's my emotion code chart. And I pretty much memorized it, but uh, we, uh, we use that uh, when necessary to help people. Uh, with your emotions, if they need to know what it is. Uh, so that's what I use at the office. Now you know what it is. It's, it's not a big secret. <laughs> you can do this too. Um, so I wanted to show you that because it's kind of fun. 
Now, uh, I wanted to share with you for next Monday's show, I'm super excited because I have the founder of the Face Yoga Method, who's going to be live on the show with me. Her name is Fumiko uh, Takatsu, and she's the creator of the Face Yoga Method. When I was little, my mom was really into like exercising your face, and she swore that it worked and it helped keep her young, and she still looks really young, actually. <clears throat> Interestingly, though, then later on she stopped doing it because she heard that um, it wasn't certain facial movements weren't good for you. Um, like she would do all sorts of funny things. Like she would be, you know, driving on her way to work to the teacher, and she'd be like, you know, doing literally like that, right? <laughs> she was so funny. And um, but <laughs> so when I came across this uh, uh, Fumiko site. Um, she had some really interesting quiz questions, and I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. I'm going to take the quiz. And so I don't have a big, huge issue, you know, with wrinkles, but I was like, oh, well, I could probably use some neck stuff because I feel like there's a little bulge here and there's some lines, you know, but people say, oh, for 50 years old, you look great, which is awesome. Yay. Um, but Fumiko was in a car accident, a near fatal car accident, and which disfigured her face. And she went to all sorts of therapies to try to, you know, obviously look better. It didn't work. So um, it's funny how necessity is the mother of invention. So she actually created her own program to try to even out and balance her face and really release some of that uh, scar tissue or whatever it was that she had after the accident. And now you can't even tell that she had a car accident. And if you look at her site, the faceyogamethod.com, you'll actually see that she looks pretty much the same <laughs> from her mid-30s to now, uh, actually, let's see, uh, I have looked, uh, 36, yeah, from, there's a picture at 36, there's a picture at 43. I mean, there's really not a lot of difference, which is very, very cool. So we're going to be speaking to her live on the show at 3 p.m. Eastern on Monday, and you get to call in some questions if you'd like. You can actually check in with her to see what, issues that you have and whether or not the face uh, yoga method would be helpful for you. So I thought we'd do something fun, you know, um, and, um, you know, get Michael on the show so we can do some really, really cool um, exercises. Now, I know it'd be hard to imagine some of them because it's radio, but I'm going to give you one right now. This is one from, um, I, I bought her 28-day uh, boot camp for the neck, and this is one of the ones I'm going to just grab a pen here. Uh, this is the one from like the all over 10 minute, um, you know, face toning, and it's just this. Uh huh. Prepare out of head like this. And you have to lift the face. <laughs> Did you get all that? <laughs> so it lifts the face, and so sometimes I'll remember this on the way home and, uh, and, and do some of this, uh, do some of the exercises. It was really, uh, although I have to admit, I'm not doing it as often because I just started learning German through Penzler. So I'm not, you know, on the way home, I'm, I'm basically speaking German, so I can't have a pen in <laughs> Although some people would say it's about the same thing, right? <laughs> speaking German. <laughs> a pen in your mouth. Uh, anyhow, so lots of love to you all. Uh, if you're not part of my Light Warrior Advanced Healing Program, I'd love for you to be. We'll put the link down uh, below the video on the YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, and you're wondering about, you know, what's going on spiritually and how you can best navigate the ascension, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'd love to have you as part of the Light Warrior group. We have a fantastic Facebook group and page. And a little sneak peek uh, for those folks already, my Light Warriors, starting this Saturday in our Light Warrior group. Uh, as you know, we have uh, some of our rituals every Wednesday is group healing. Um, where we post our group healing requests, and we've had, you know, um, you know, cat cancer's gone, and, you know, people not suicidal anymore, people come out of hospitals, people that were comatose, no longer comatose, it's amazing. Um, so, amazing group of people, so we have that on Wednesdays, uh, then we have, wow, look at that, I guess my pen leaked, anyway, <laughs> um, the pen I just used to bite. Uh, then on, on uh, Sundays, we have Gratitude Sunday, because what we focus on grows, we focus on gratitude, then that grows, and I thought we'd really find the new ritual for my Light Warrior folks Saturday. We're going to be doing Success Saturday, so my awesome assistant, uh, happy birthday, happy belated birthday, Jen, you're awesome. Um, my assistant, Jen, is going to be posting on Saturday, Success Saturdays. 
So you get to post your successes in the group again because what we focus on grows. So let's just not all, you know, talk about all of our problems and things we're struggling with, not just our challenges. Let's talk about our successes. You know, what was going well? What's going better? Uh, what we focus on grows. So we want to focus on what's going well in our life and not just what is not going well. So that's a really important skill set to have and a part of being a very masterful uh, mani uh, manifester, by the way. So I look forward to you, talking to you next week. Have a wonderful week. Bye for now. And remember to join me for the show on Monday with Miracle. I'm going to go wash my hands now. Okay, bye guys. Love you.